It's something many dream of doing, packing up the family and hitting the road for an extended adventure. Skipping the brunt of a Saskatchewan winter would be an added bonus. You know Sean Fraser as a former Regina City Councillor. You know Nicole Huck as a great storyteller and a friend of ours here on the Morning Edition, now off on a maternity leave. Together, the Huck Frasers are the parents of three small children and the proud owners of a well-used bowler trailer. And they are just back from a four-month adventure through North America. Welcome back, you guys. Hola. Hola. <laughs> yeah, yeah so good to see you. And it is something that so many people talk about doing and think about doing. So at what point did you guys say, no, we're actually going to do it? What what took you there? we been inspired by all these retired folks and seeing their <laughs> pictures saying, I don't want to wait that long. Um, but really, this is our third child and most likely our last maternity leave ever. Um, and it felt like... It's really difficult when you're working full time to get some chunks of time off. So the fact that in Canada we do have this lovely thing called a maternity leave that can last a year. Yeah. It felt um, like a really unique situation, a very privileged situation to be able to make the leap and go on the road trip that we've always dreamed yeah. about. A little bit trickier for you, Sean. Yeah, yeah. To take a few the time. Moving, a few moving parts, but my employer... Uh, my day job now is at the YMC of Regina, and they have an option for people to take unpaid, unpaid leave. So they were yeah. nice enough to let me leave for four months. So, um, so how much did you guys plan, and how much did you allow just to you know allow yourselves to be spontaneous? How much planning goes into packing up three small children for four months? I, I don't think we were well prepared, um, and it, which is totally fine. I think you don't have to overthink it really. I, there was times where I was just Googling, you know, traveling with kids in a bowler. And, of course, there was zero things that come up. <laughs> That's where you come in now. You have to write a blog exactly. or something. Uh, yeah. And I think that the, the most extensive prep we did was Sean made a Google map the night before we left to kind of <laughs> plotted out potential ways we could. Even the day before, we weren't sure if we were going to go straight down or go to the West Coast. And uh, those kind of decisions we were constantly just making on the fly. On the fly, yeah. And and so let's talk about some of the, the highlights. I mean, for one thing, it was kind of interesting. You guys entered the States right on, was it Election Day? Mm-hmm. What was that like, moving into the States on Election Day? Um, yeah, pretty interesting. I mean, we went down the West Coast to start with, so and we came back through Texas and kind of the central states. So there's mm-hmm. a little maybe different political feel in both, both areas. But for the most part, the States um, was exciting. You know, they have a wonderful yeah. park system. I remember system. stopping and taking a picture on election day, and it was, you know, election 2016. This is it. This is who we have to choose from. That was, like, the <laughs> yeah, sign that was up. <laughs> bigger than most signs we saw for any party. Yeah. And it was a, a little bit uh, eye-opening, coming, kind of getting out of our bubble a little bit, actually. And mm. seeing, especially, we kind of expected, actually, to see a lot more maybe Clinton signs and things because we were on the West Coast, which is considered, like, a very liberal. Yeah. Um, part, but actually we saw a lot of Trump flags that day and, and huge, you know, Trump pence signs in the fields. And, and it was, uh, I think just as a Canadian, we're, we, we thought maybe we were a little bit hidden from the actual reality of, of how people were. Yeah, feeling. that's an interesting perspective. So I know you guys have a million memories and, and moments that you'll probably, you know, treasure forever. But if I ask you each for, for one, one unforgettable moment, um, can, do you, can you come up with, with one? Well, I've got a couple. The, the day that our trailer snapped in half, that's pretty oh. memorable. <laughs> Um, but probably one really positive one that comes to mind. Snapped in half? Yeah, our trailer's a 1972 bowler, so it's kind of getting up there in years. And, uh, yeah, driving through California, we were driving along. And, um, you know, before you leave, you sort of think, like, well, what's the worst thing that could happen? You know, we've done some work in the bowler and, yeah. um, you know, lots of sort of technical issues go wrong. And pretty much the worst one that could have went wrong went wrong, the trailer frame breaking right in two. And uh, it worked out fine, you know. We have CA. Where, where did it happen? It happened on a side road. We were we were close to uh, close to Joshua Tree National Park, and we had luckily just gotten off gotten off the freeway. And it could have been a different story, but it worked out. You know, one of those things you might sort of um, be uh, anxious about, and it, it happened. Well, and one it, of those things that, fine, you know? that might test a relationship. Yeah. Well, CA yeah, is it a wasn't great marriage for counselor. CA slash AA yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coming in to save the day. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. Okay. What about on the positive side? Positive side. Um, I think 
people we met along the way. One couple that stands out. We, we met a lot of people doing this, actually traveling with young kids. And there's one couple we met in Mexico that were from Argentina. And it was interesting. We, we literally grew up on other sides of the world. We had lots of differences. But the exciting part was that we had both come to that, to the west coast of Mexico, uh, with kind of the same idea. We had thought about it for a long time and thought it would be neat with kids to travel. And yeah, that was just sort of piecing together that, well, we've both kind of come the same distance almost, you know. Yeah. Um, and they're, to, they're to the living in the dream trying from, to make it up to Alaska. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's wow. Right, yeah. And a VW. And that's a, VW. a heck. Wow, that's yeah. a heck of a trip. And I think for me, it was just kind of the little pop up communities that you experienced along the way. I remember being kind of apprehensive before going about, you know, the idea of going to an RV park and in the winter is like, well, it's just a bunch of retired snowbirds. Um, but our three year old became like best friends with Bob from Verdon. <laughs> he's your ambassador, <laughs> hey? Yeah. Like, you know, a retired guy. Uh, and every morning he's like, I want to go play with Bob. Oh. Um, and, it's just those little um, those little communities that you find, whether it be in a park or whatnot. Yeah. And there's so many mornings that you wake up in a really gorgeous place. And that's like the highlight for me is always, you know, being with kids in nature, like on a beach or in a, like a forest or yeah. like those beautiful things. But the thing that like those memories that actually stand out is like the second day in Mexico, we, we as we're traveling through there, we got to a place that doesn't have an RV park. So... We're parked um, at a Pemex station, so it's like a it's it's their national gas station, uh, with a bunch of like long haul trucks and semis, and you know we're just in our tiny little bowler with big semis on other sides of us, and Sean's making quesadillas in the bowler, and <laughs> and the kids are watching Rango, uh, <laughs> uh, and it was just it's a, it's about I guess just kind of. Um, hit home that it's it's about being together whether you're Family. on a beach or whether you're in a truck stop. Well, and you must have had some incredible moments with your children, with experiencing them seeing things for the first time, and, and yeah, that kind their of favorite thing. things are of course like the the animals that you see and or the weird bones you find on a beach. But that was, I think, I think everybody, all my friends were always you know struggling with oh, there's all these toys everywhere and. And, you know, they each had a, a tiny little bag of toys that they brought with them. So the majority of the toys that we had along the way were the sticks that they found at a campsite or the rocks or the the, the unidentifi- unidentifiable bone that mm. they picked up. And those mm. are the, the treasures that they brought yeah. back. Do you have any advice for people who are, you know, on the fence? They're thinking, wow, that sounds so cool, but I don't know if I could do it. Do Delay you know? that reno. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because Priorities, hey? Yeah, it is priorities. We We... Those kinds of things they cost so much, and while it's nicer to have your your bathroom, um, you know, with a facelift or or something like yeah. that, uh, you can never take these memories away. Uh, yeah. You know, it's it's that time is so precious and so fleeting with little kids or with family, um, and that reno will be lovely in three more years when you're able yeah. to finally afford it. That's afford a great it. way to put it. And, of course, you can't have a road trip without a, a song, a theme song. Did you guys have one? <laughs> oh, so many, yeah. So our, our three-year-old, uh, Frankie, uh, every time we got into the car, he'd ask. He wanted to, two songs. He wanted, either wanted the good old hockey song, which drove my <laughs> five-year-old insane, or Spirit of the West, Home for a Rest. I don't know if that's actually the name of the song, but it's so cute to see a three-year-old saying, you'll have to excuse me, I'm not at my best. <laughs> home for a rest. Home for a rest. All right. Well, we're glad uh, you're home safe and sound and you get a little bit more of a rest before you come back with us. And we're looking forward to having you back, Nicole. Yeah, I miss you guys. That's All awesome. right. Thanks so much, you guys, for yeah, coming thank you in. Too. Thank you.